robbed a jewelry store, not once, but twice. Now the owner of that store is pleading for help from other business owners and catching that robber. Let's get right to Fox 5's Briella Tomasetti. She's live in front of that store in Cobble Hill, Brooklyn, with the details. Good morning, Briella. Yeah, good morning to both of you, Dan and to Shawnee. Melissa Joy Manning has had her own place here on Court Street for the past eight years. She's also been in the jewelry business for two and a half decades. She says she's always considered this part of New York safe. That is, until now, robbed twice by the same person who is still on the loose. When you're a retailer you assume risk. But Melissa Joy Manning, who owns a small jewelry shop in Cobble Hill, Brooklyn, never thought she'd be robbed by the same person twice. One of the terrifying encounters from around 3.15 in the afternoon on March 14th was caught on video. Security cameras show a man armed with a knife, dressed in a green tracksuit, threatening an employee, ransacking a jewelry case, shoving jewelry in his pockets, and then calmly walking right out the front door. Manning claims the same exact person targeted her business more than a month earlier. He came the first time on February 2nd, cased our store. We were immediately suspicious of his behavior. Sure enough, within 15, 20 minutes, he returned, um, posing as a customer. The moment my employee turned her back, he pushed something sharp into it and said, this is a robbery. The first time, Manning says, the masked intruder made off with $200,000 worth of jewelry. She upgraded her security system and even changed her policy. Policies. A note posted to the front door now says, for entry, please remove sunglasses, hat, and mask. But that didn't stop him from coming back the second time with someone believed to be an accomplice. A young woman came to our door unmasked, rang for entry. We let her in, mm -hmm. and he pushed in right behind her. Hi. Watch closely. A woman guards the door as the man boldly announces his return. The employee slams the panic button and he appears to be scared away, but not before making off with another $50,000 worth of jewelry. He's not going to stop until he's caught. Manning posted the suspect's picture on social media and other jewelry store owners in the area immediately responded saying they recognized him. One store owner in Williamsburg alleges she was also robbed by a person with the same exact M.O. To have an armed robbery, I think it's inexplicable unless you experienced it. But then to have it twice by the same person goes against that adage, you know, lightning never strikes twice. So what's next? Well, Manning says that she's hired private security guards who will be starting soon, but for now she is a quarter million dollars down and constantly living in fear, thinking the person who targeted this store not once but twice will do it again. For now, we're